prepare for a standing ovation once again because Broadway, yes, making a comeback. I've missed it, you've missed it. That was a snippet from a rehearsal of the new musical, Mrs. Doubtfire, one of the many shows forced to shut down during the pandemic. More than 96,000 theater workers, they have been out of work since the pandemic began. But Governor Andrew Cuomo has announced shows will go on starting September 14th. Two actors who've been anxiously awaiting Broadway's reopening are with me now, Mark Evans and Justin Mortalidi. Good morning to both of you. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. We're great. Morning. Good to that see was you. So nice watching that. I haven't seen those people in far too long. <laughs> and, and now that's and that's the thing. Were you guys all texting each other when you found out the news yesterday about Broadway making this comeback? Yeah, we've we've kind of been given sort of unofficial word that we're definitely returning um, as of a couple of weeks ago, um, and so we were very excited to get on that Zoom call for sure. So, so guys, would you have ever imagined, I guess, when when Broadway shut down? that it would be dark for more than a year later. Like, what were you originally told when the pandemic first began? We thought it would be a couple weeks, and then we thought maybe, okay, maybe June, and then definitely September. It just, and then eventually we were like, wow, this is gonna be yeah. a long time. And I think, you know, we had, Justin and I got married in September of 2019. Congrats. So almost immediately, thanks for Almost immediately afterwards, we were separated. He was going to do a production of Pride and Prejudice on the West Coast, and we went to do the out of town tryout with Mrs. Doubtfire. And we hadn't really had much time together. So initially, yeah. the Broadway shutdown of just four weeks. We're like honeymoon. Kind of a bit of a treat. <laughs> you know? We were here in our house and just enjoying ourselves. Um, and then, you know, complete opposite to the announcement that went out yesterday, which was good news. Every time there was an announcement about Broadway, it was. Mm -hmm an extra delay it's going right. to be you know, April it's going to be September it's going to be January and we'd in order to protect ourselves I think we'd all just conditioned ourselves to just not believe anything until we really have you know faith that it's going to come back which yeah is soon. you know and everybody's optimistic that it's going to be that sticking point of September so so for both of you Justin and Mark you know there was a lot of downtime right because that was your livelihood so everybody kind of had to find these new ways of doing things and, and making some money at the same time so briefly Justin we'll begin with you what did you pivot to in the meantime you know, I've been doing a lot of writing. I've written a musical called The Ladies' Man, and um, I've been writing it for a couple of years, so I really just dove into recording the demos, polishing the script. Uh, I did some uh, online like video music video shoots mm -hmm. that we presented with New York Theater Barn virtually. Uh, so, and I also learned a lot about photography, and I kind of started my own business um, taking pictures and, you know, just, just yeah. figuring it. And Mark. I did a story on you. I know you became a realtor. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. I mean, honestly, that was something that initially I just thought I should go to real estate school just to keep my brain busy. Um, I didn't think that a year later I would have been working on an awesome real estate team, you know, helping multiple families find their dream homes. But yeah, pivot into real estate is what happened for me. Full disclosure, everybody, he did help me find my home in the state of New Jersey, the lovely state of New Jersey. So Are thank you. Happy you. Then? I'm happy so far, Mark, yes. Uh, and Mark, I want to start talk about Mrs. Doubtfire. It was in previews, right? Big plans for the opening night. So I know we can't say much about when it will come back, but what was your role on the show? So I play, for those of you who remember the, um, the movie, I played the, the Piers Brosnan role, Stuart. Um, and yeah, so we were three preview performances in. We'd done an out of town tryout in Seattle, which was a big success. Um, and so, you know, this, of all the jobs that I've done in my career, this was probably the one I was most confident was going to run. Like, I bought furniture for the dressing room. I was settling mm. in. We did three whole performances, and then the shutdown happened. Um, yeah. But we were always told that whenever Broadway does come back, we will definitely be coming back. They've been, Good. Kevin McCullum, our producer, and our creative team have been so wonderfully transparent the whole time. Yeah. A lot of the time, there wasn't much news to report, but they have kept us feeling together as a family. Do you think, what do you think the biggest change will be when people get back into the theater and they're jam packed, right? Whether it be September or a few months after that, is it going to be that because everybody's masked, that maybe, maybe, you won't hear them Eminem rappers and that people won't be able to put food in their mouth like during the actual show? <laughs> Sounds like you might have an opinion about that. Dan. That would be amazing. I don't have opinions. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, who and knows? muffled cheers, too. 
we don't know we we haven't been given specifics about what you know the protocols will be in place for safety and that sort of stuff yeah. um, but we're definitely coming back to you know we've all been changed for various reasons and we're definitely coming back to what will be a new broadway hopefully a yeah. more equitable inclusive broadway which is very much overdue good um so we're all intrigued to see you know it's not just returning back to how yeah. it was we're coming back to see hopefully the beginning of a brand new chapter that exactly. will be very good. I like the sound of that. Let me bring in the team right now. You know, one of our team members, Ben, he's got very long legs. Would have been the worst thing if maybe they separated the seats a little more, gave you some more leg room, that Ben. That would be nice. I would right? love at least six to eight <laughs> feet between people. I would have, I always have to sit on the side on the aisle because I'd have to like, like I, and I leak into the aisle. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm we. <laughs> I'm very we and I don't have that problem. Uh, two points. One, uh, three, congratulations on the nuptials. Uh, congratulations on the return of Broadway. Number three. It's only an hour show, were, Marisol. When you were uh, helping oh, Dan Manorino with his house, um, was he as much of a pain in the butt with you this as he is with us? This isn't about me. I mean, <laughs> listen, the thing we pride ourselves on is confidentiality, so I treat my relationship oh, as wow. a okay, Very professional. Listen, listen. He is ah, so professional. Come professional. on. Just between us girls. Come on. Ah. No I'm all ears. <laughs> now, did you have a question? See it on Million Dollar Listing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Million Dollar <laughs> Listing minus a few hundred thousand. Go ahead. I was just going to ask, you know, with the ask number right here. <laughs> I, think, I think he's fitting for it. I mean, it should happen. But I was going to ask back to Broadway, though. The fact that people are going to be wearing masks and sitting in, you know, in the seats, does it kind of take away a little bit from the reaction? Because I'm sure that you kind of play off of that reaction, seeing them smile. Seeing Let me laugh. just take this one, guys. Being an actor, oh, yeah. um, yeah. you know, the lights are so blinding, you can't see the audience, right? It's more your encore that you. <laughs> well, get. I think we've all learned to really use our eyes in the last year and a half, right? We all know how to smize now in the grocery yeah. store, strangers. So hopefully we can see all those beautiful eyes. And hopefully, you know, everyone just can forget. They can disappear into watching the show, forget about the mask, forget about everything that's happened yeah. in the last year, and just be there with us. And it's going to be a universal room of love and fun, you know? Well, that's the whole thing about Broadway, right? It transcends, it takes you away, it takes it you to a different world altogether, mm -hmm. right? So kind of forget what's happening on the outside world, and you're in that moment. We're with you. Uh, yeah. Justin, you said you have a musical. Let me know when the auditions are. Okay, uh, ready? No, no, I have no, my no. headshot and resume ready to go. We'll talk. We'll talk all good of viewers and audiences everywhere, please do not let him know. <laughs> hey, guys, congrats. Um, and you're both going to stick with, the, with both careers, Broadway and what you pivoted to at the same time, so that is good news as well. Thank you both for being here this morning. Okay, good to see you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. All right.